back to my channel. I don't know if you can tell, but I am so excited for today's video because I'm actually going to be showing you what's on my desk and how I actually organize my desk because I work from home. If you've been a follower of this channel for a while, you will know that I actually regularly change up my home office space. Not only do I think it's a really good idea to keep things fresh and keep myself creative, but I'm a Gemini, so I get sick of things pretty quickly, but the office space that I have at the moment is probably my favorite that I have ever had. I'm so happy with it. It's so well organized and honestly having everything so organized has just made my life so much easier. So I really wanted to kind of take you through and show you all the different things that I have on my desk that help me run my business and my YouTube channel and really just show you all of the decor so maybe you can get some inspiration for your own home office space. So this is like the overview of my office desk space. As you can see, I've really tried to go for the kind of bamboo neutral theme really because this fits with my branding and I use my background in a lot of my videos and a lot of the photos that I use for my business. I think that's a really good tip if you do style your home office and you are someone who has a brand online, using your brand colors just it makes it so much more cohesive across your marketing. But I also have a lot of tech because I just love Apple products <laughs> and so I've tried to incorporate some blacks and whites as well so that the tech itself doesn't look out of place. And also I have a motorbike bike helmet that's pink because why not? This is honestly my favorite part of the space. This is my decor section. I just have some dried flowers here. I literally just went into a florist and asked them, do you have any dried flowers that are a creamish sort of color? And they got some from the back because they quite often dry flowers for arrangements. But basically I've just got this and just a little pot and that honestly is just from Kmart. It looks so nice, but it was just a really cheap pot that I did get from Kmart and I'll try I leave everything I possibly can mention in the description below, but some of this stuff is super old, so I will really do my best. So I think it's just a really nice way. I'm really bad at taking care of flowers. I'm really bad at taking care of plants. Most of the house, most of the plants in my house are fake. So having dried flowers is a great way to kind of like add a little bit of life, but then not really have to do anything about it. I also do have a guitar next to it. I never play it. I keep it there to remind myself that I'm just human and I'm not perfect too. And there are some things that I'm not good at. Not really. It's there to try to remind me to play it, but but it doesn't really work. I like the color of it though. And now moving on to the pride and joy of my desk. And no, I'm not talking about the laptop that has helped me to build my entire business. I am talking about my highlighters. <laughs> So I bought this from Officeworks. It's like here in Australia, our main big office supply store, but I'm pretty sure you'd be able to get something similar if you just type in like bamboo draw drawers or like fake bamboo desk drawers. But basically the bottom drawer in here has my highlighters, my favorite things in the entire world. I also just do have a sticky note and my hard drive and then just a screen cleaner, which is actually a glasses cleaner. I do not have a Gucci screen cleaner, um, but just a glasses cleaner in there. And then in the second drawer above, Above from that, I just have all of my cables tied up really neatly, as well as my adapter. As you know, most computers now use USB-C. So this is just a USB-C adapter with my SD card and my HDMI and USB adapters to this. And this is really good because I can plug it not only into my computer, but I can also plug it into my iPad as well. And this is actually the adapter that I use to get all of my footage straight onto my iPad so that I can edit all of my videos in Visco Cam. And also I, of course, just have some pens even though now I rarely use pens because I mostly write on my iPad and then of course I just have a couple of lip balms as well. I know this might seem like a really small detail to a lot of people but one thing that I really learned through this time where we're all kind of stuck at home was that being just that little bit more organized makes your life so much easier. It actually all started when I bought three body washes and I was someone before that would always run out of body wash and then have to go to the shops and buy body wash and yet having a replacement body wash has honestly made my life so much easier and I know this has nothing to do with desk organization but I just wanted to tell this story because the second thing that I did was actually put lip balm in my desk my lips are always dry and I'm always complaining about the fact that my lips are dry and they always look dry on videos and people have complimented them on being dry before but I never thought just putting a freaking lip balm in my drawer would like honestly change my life now I'm just checking if my lips are dry I'm embarrassing they are <laughs> 
either way, I'm just saying like there's so many small things that you can do, whether that's just having replacement products, if you can, or things on your desk that you know you're going to need, but they're always out of reach. Just trying to make your life easier, setting up your life with little ways that are going to make your life easier, having the right adapters, having the right cables. Honestly, this can not only just make things so much easier, but it increases your productivity massively. So the more organized you are, the easier life is. It's a simple message. Remember it. <laughs> And then of course I do have my computer. This is just the MacBook Pro 15 inch 2017 model, I do believe. I really love having a completely clear desktop. And also I have my morning routine reminder here. So my morning routine consists of moving my body, getting ready, journaling. And honestly, before I sit at my desk, I just make sure that I've done all of these things. And this desktop reminds me to do that. But also I like to have a really, really crystal clear desktop. Not that I'm super organized. I basically just have all my junk piled into one folder desktop and so there's nothing actually on my desktop now moving on to the right hand side of my desk this is just something that I did recently this month I basically just went and bought a clipboard again from Officeworks and I just pinned up notices essentially that I use every single day in my business I thought it was just a really cute way to add to the aesthetic of the room but honestly I really use this stuff every week it's really helpful these are essentially all the content pieces that I post in my group I spoke about this in my monthly planning video so you can definitely check that out if you want to but but having like little notices posted up, you know, whether that's reminders, things that you need for work, school, business, or even just affirmations or even like your vision board, having something like pinned up right next to your desk that you can stare at every single day is really helpful. But then also over here, I just have my sort of tech organization. So I have my iPad and then of course I just have a small charging station that charges my Apple AirPods and my iPhone as well. It's actually not plugged in right now because I use the same charger for my laptop top my iPad and the charging station and it's on the floor right now because you know it didn't add to the aesthetics of the video but either way that's essentially my little tech station over here. So underneath my desk is where I actually keep all of my camera gear. So as you can see I have my big filming camera I'm actually filming on my vlog camera at the moment but I just have the Canon 80D and then a bunch of lenses here as well and then the camera that I'm filming on at the moment is the Sony RX100. I absolutely love this camera so much it's probably my favorite favorite camera in the entire world and all of this is just kept out of here under here because I try to keep it out of sight as much as possible and then in my top drawer I just have some other little gadgets that I use in my business so I have all of the small tripods that I use this is the tripod that I always use honestly I use this so often in my business basically it's a tripod that you can either have your phone in portrait or landscape and it's really good because it extends out also as a selfie stick this is really hard to do one hand but it's something that I use every single time I go live. I much prefer to go live on my phone, especially on Facebook. And I honestly use this every single day. And then of course, I just have another tripod, which I do use sometimes when I am vlogging. And this is something that I've had for ages, but only started using recently. It is actually the Logitech webcam. So basically you just place this on top of your computer and it just makes the quality of your images when you're doing things like live streaming or maybe on a group coaching call it in my case it just makes the quality of it so much better I didn't use it for ages because honestly I didn't realize that you had to manually set it to HD and the quality when I first tried it out was so bad there's actually a whole entire Instagram story where I was trying to figure it out on my highlights but now that I figured out how to use it as HD it is actually a really really nice webcam and definitely if you want to up the quality of the live stuff that you do in your business or whatever you do online definitely I recommend this one and I will leave it linked below one thing I would like to mention is obviously this and those drawers look so super super neat and I know you're probably thinking right now oh my god my desk isn't that neat but honestly like I have this so one thing from the messy drawer however that I would like to show you is my microphone so this is the microphone that I use for all of my voiceovers and for my podcast I honestly just have the blue yeti and I know a lot of people consider this to be a super intro kind of mic but I just put a sock over it to make it less muffled and it sounds really good. So that's the microphone I use for pretty much anything audio in my business. So moving on, this is just the fake dog that I place in the background of all my videos. So usually when I sit down and film on my couch, I just put this like toy dog on the back so that you guys write heaps of comments about how cute it is. It's not actually real, it's a fake dog. Oh my God, it's moving. 
That was scary. Next to my desk, I just have this tall boy slash bookshelf. On the top of it, I have this magazine stand with all of my journals, and this is where I also keep my magic keyboard. If you did watch my iPad video, yes, I actually did end up investing in the magic keyboard. The only problem is it's really clunky to keep on my desk, so I pretty much just keep it in the magazine stand unless I'm actually using it. So the next two shelves down are pretty much just for aesthetics purposes, storage purposes, and also mocking me every single day, reminding me to actually go outside and learn how to ride my motorbike properly purposes. So pretty much I just have my motorbike gloves in this little basket here. I have some magazines. I have some books with some crystals on the top. And then of course I have my very out of place looking motorbike helmet. But like I said, I need it staring directly at me so I don't just spend all day inside and I actually go out and get fresh air on the bike. I don't know how to show you this without like me being in the background. So hello, how are you? Let's do the YMCA. These are the artwork pieces that I do have up above my desk. So this night we got engaged is actually something that my fiance got me for my birthday, but it's just the star constellations on the night we actually got engaged above Melbourne, because that's where we got engaged. To the left, I've just got this Gemini piece. It's something that I got in Queensland, but I know it is from the company Sunday Lane. Their stuff is gorgeous. And all of these frames, except for the middle one, because I got that professionally framed, but these two outside frames are also just from Officeworks. They're A3 with obviously an A4 insert. And then the final piece is another one that I did get in a store in Queensland. I will try to take it off and look at the artist if I can, but I just got it from a boutique store in Queensland, so I'm not sure where exactly you'd be able to get this one online. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I know I was kind of just like a kid on Christmas showing you all of my stuff. Hey, here's my highlighters. But honestly, I really want the message to be from this video. I obviously want to show you everything that I've got so maybe you can get some ideas about how to style and organize your own home office space. But really the message I wanted you to take away was A, the more organized you are, the easier your life is. I know it seems self-explanatory, but it's something that I didn't do for a long time. Since I've had a really organized, clean space, I've been so much more productive and so much more creative. But also I hope that you can see the excitement in myself because of all the little pieces that I have from the candles to the paintings to even just having my like guitar and motorbike helmet here because they're all things that make me happy and represent me. I know I kind of joked about them, but I just think it's really important that you do fill up your creative space with things that make you feel really good. Whatever that may be for you, just find things that make you feel good because honestly, it really does add to your ability to output quality work. I think my videos here on YouTube have been so great lately and have been performing so well because I'm physically just so happy in my space. I really do think that that has a big part of it. Obviously, it's not the only thing, but I really do think it's had it's a big reason why my business has been going so well and my content has been the way that it has been because I've just been so happy with everything I've been putting out. And that just of course has a lot, a lot to do with the way that it feels for me. So I hope you took lots of different things away from this video. Like I said, I mean, I'm going to try to leave some stuff linked in the description below what I can. Some of it's only available in Australia and of course some of it is super old, but I will leave what I can. I want to thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you and of course I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Wait, before we go to the intro, I just was watching the footage back and I want to explain myself a little bit more about what I was saying in the middle of the video about organization. I used to be someone who really identified with kind of being scrappy or free-willed, free-spirited. You know the movie New York Minute with the Olsen twins? How in the beginning, one of the twins is like super organized and one of the twins opens her closet and it's like a full mess. <laughs> Because I kind of identified myself in a certain way, I thought that I didn't have to care about my things and that having organized stuff somehow made me like prim and proper when I didn't identify myself to be that way. And it's just really weird because lately I have just been so much more organized with like my clothes, my stuff, my skincare, even down to like I said, having just a spare you know, body wash or having bobby pins in my bag or a hair tie or lip balm. And while they seem like little details and for some reason in my mind, they seem like something only really girly girls would do or only a certain type of person would do. But actually it's just common sense to be organized. Like I was just editing then and just having the right cables in the right spot has made my life so much easier rather than searching through constantly drawer after drawer, running through George's office, trying to find a freaking cable. Like it saves time. It's not an 
identity that you need to take on, just being organized is just smart. I don't know why I needed to share that, but I definitely had to. And shout out to you if you've watched New York Man, it's such a good movie. <laughs> anyway, all right, let's go to the outro. <laughs>